All right, welcome back to the Sam Strobel Show. My guest now is um, actually a new friend, I should, I probably should say, although I've known her for a little bit. Jill Simonian is the director of outreach for Prager U Resources for Educators and Parents. She's a former TV host and a media contributor, and um, she's the founder of the Fab Mom blog. She's also a published author. Um, she's got a big, long credentials list, but right now she's um, she's the face at Prager U for their education outreach. And she just recently published a video that's going viral as we speak about the crisis that we have in our education, where she did some investigative journalism, conducted some interviews. And uh, th this, I, I have to recommend, I've posted the video on Facebook and on Twitter, et cetera, um, because I want this out there because parents have to understand what they're up against. Jill Simonian, thanks so much for coming on the Sam Sorbo Show. Thank you, Sam. You have been a longtime light for all of us and me personally this year. So I really appreciate talking to you again. Thank you. Do you remember the email that you sent me just recently? Yes. I'm, okay. <laughs> if, if you If you can't quote it, I can. Go ahead. I don't know if I can go. I don't have it pulled up, but what I said was uh, essentially thank you for being a voice for parents and children and students and frankly, unbiased teachers who are trying to show everyone what has been happening in the education system. And many months ago, when I first started working for Prager U Kids, we, you and I did a Zoom interview and you were so gracious. You said, yeah, you know, let's do this Zoom interview. And you started talking about how uh, imperative it was for parents to open their eyes and learn that in our education system, kids are not being educated, they're being schooled and we're all being schooled. And at the time, admittedly, I was very ignorant about what was happening and I thought, oh, okay, well, she's, you know, she's been a proponent for home education for a long time. That's not really my thing. I, you know, I, I don't know if I believe in that. You were right. Everything you, you talked about was spot on. You opened my eyes personally, as well as thousands of other parents across this country now that we are seeing how compromised everything is. And you gave me the courage to really start investigating educational alternatives that aligned with my family's values and beliefs and how I want my kids to learn. And I pulled my kids out of our longtime, once beloved public school because there was just too much corruption and too many clashing things going on. And I said, I need to, I need to, I need to listen to Sam Sorbo. What would Sam Sorbo do? She would pull her kids out and find an alternative. And yeah. <laughs> so the thing that you said to me is, I will never forget something you said on the Zoom, on the Zoom we did. Um, you can still fight the fight. Just take your children off the front lines. Yes. That and is that, that's really what it boils down to. So, so you finally figured it out. You're like, oh my gosh, my kids will suffer the consequences while I'm fighting this fight. I, I got to get them out of the way. And that's really the whole message. Like, like I, I'll be honest, Jill. I don't think that we can save education. I don't think so. But I'm not against fighting the good fight and trying to get it done. I just, the whole system is a perversion of what education should be. So I don't know how to remedy that. And the problem that we're facing today is that we've all been schooled, not educated. So we have no idea what education is until right. we get into the paradigm of the parent mentoring the child, the parent becomes the, the lead learner. I don't have to know everything about art. And I certainly don't, but my child does because I have taught her how to learn. And so then she has gone out and sought the information that she wants. And boy, is she methodical about it because I taught her how to learn. There's a methodology to learning and she knows how she knows how it works. So she just goes and does the research and she is very knowledgeable about art, which is something that that as the parent, you would think, oh, well, I homeschooled her. So I must have taught her everything she knows. 
No, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. And you and I went to school. And so we learned that the teacher knows everything. Does that make sense? Yeah, a hundred percent. And, and I got to tell you this whole journey, me per, you know, what I'm, what's happening personally with my daughters who are of the elementary school age, as well as putting together this uh, mini documentary for PragerU called Miseducated. I realize now that in many ways, I have been miseducated about what I thought the education system currently is. My sister is a teacher who is frankly beside herself about what is currently happening in the system. My mother was a teacher. My grandmother was a teacher. I grew up with this affection and respect and deep reverence for our teachers and they are amazing. And we still have thousands and thousands of amazing teachers in this country, but I was miseducated myself about what the system actually is right now. And once your eyes are open. I, you know, it's like on my social media, I've been saying my eyes are open now and I can't unsee this. I can't unsee this. And it's, it's so wrong. And, and, and I do agree with you. I don't know how much of it can be saved and salvaged, but I do think we're in an era now where there's a reckoning of this system. And we see parents so angry in all of these viral videos at school board meetings And there is small progress being made here and there to sort of miss the iceberg, so to speak. But, (laughs) but I mean, you know, but, but people like you have seen this for decades and it's like, you know, it's, it's like the, the, the human part of me wants to issue this apology saying, I, we are sorry, we did not see this, but we're, we're here now. We're here now late to the game, but we're here. So, so the mini documentary, which is called Miseducated, is so well named. You've been miseducated. I've been miseducated. Um, it's we none of us really have that education to understand. But what we do know is that what's happening right now is wrong, and so we're we're we are really trying to at least fix that. I, I, my problem is this, the parents go to the school board, they say, Hey, school board, shame on you. Don't be doing that. Right. Right. But what, what are they going to do? Change the schools back to the thing that got us where we are today. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yes. So, so how is that fixing it when that brought us to where we are today? And, and, and frankly, you've got teachers in, um, Ohio that have banded together that have said, I don't care if you tell me not to teach CRT, I'm still going to teach it. By the way, let's just talk quickly about the mini documentary because you've compiled a a number of clips of these irate parents that are standing up to the system. Um, You've put together the evidence of the pornography that's, that's in the schools. Did you, I don't know if this got on the, the mini documentary, but did you see the, um, the mayor that went, I think this was also in Ohio actually, went to the school board meeting and said that he just spoke with the judge and the judge says, absolutely this material is child pornography um, and should not be anywhere near uh, young people. And for that reason, he called on the entire school board to either resign or face prosecution. Yes. We saw that now. Our, yeah, our our uh, video was produced and edited by the whole Prager team, uh, Prager U team. Yeah. Uh, weeks ago, it was edited, but this video that right. you're talking about just came out, and we all watched it, and it was one of those epic moments where I literally, it is the mayor of that town. Yeah. Now, what you know, hello, if the mayor of your town is going to really hunker down and say, you guys need to wake up. I, I want to go back to something you said. We go to these school board meetings. I mean, myself included, we make our points. We have parents band again, band with us to make our points against all of this stuff, rejecting all of this DEI, CRT, all of these things. But in the end, we are faced with the same issue of 
district administrators and school board members sitting there staring at us like this yeah. and nodding their heads and then they don't do anything. Yeah. And we've seen this and, and it really is an issue. And it goes back to what you were saying where they're really, I don't know if there's a way to fix it. And maybe it's only because I just did this, but I'm thinking, you know, perhaps the, the only way to fix this is to pull our children out of schools and find yeah. alternatives. That oh, yeah. is, I mean, that's, that is where we're at now. Well, we, well, first and foremost, you got to save your kids because you're not going to fix it in time before they are exposed to whatever it is. I mean, uh, they're teaching second graders lubrication. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's no excuse for that. Your second grader will be taught that if you leave them in school today and you might trust your teacher and that only goes so far um, because there's no, because you're not in the classroom. The, the other thing is you don't know what the other kids are going to be talking about. So if it's not your teacher, maybe it's the other second grade teacher. And then all the second graders have lunch together and then they have that conversation and then your child is exposed to it. So, so there's that. But what, but you're, you're saying, okay, the school board just sits there with like a glossy eyed face, like, well, I just have to sit here and take this for the next hour and a half, but then I can go home and do whatever the crap I want. And that's the truth. And the reason is because they are ideologues. Now I'm not saying every school board member everywhere is, but any school board that is putting through the stuff that this, that, that your documentary covers, they are ideologues. They are owned by the Communist Party. They are trained by the Communist Party because they're trained by the unions and the unions are communist. And there's no getting around that. And the teachers unions are communist, okay? So, so if your teacher, here's a great litmus question. Ask your teacher, do you belong to the union? That ought to tell you a lot. Because nowadays, and by the way, uh, I do want to get this across. I don't know if this is, um, I don't know if this can help you, but my understanding is that if you can get 50% plus one teacher to say that they won't join the union, to not join the union, you can kick the union out of your school. And that's oh, a big, I big step. I love that. I love that. Yes. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Jill. You've got to be very stealthy about this because if the union hears that a teacher won't re-up or what have you, they will come after her hard or him hard. And so you've got to get the teachers to be very quiet about it and all do it in one day and be done with it. And then you can kick out the union, but you're still going to have the union training your school board. And the other problem that we face is all these teachers, where do they come from? <laughs> they come from the school education system. Yeah. So I, so I don't know. So like you're, like you're trimming the tree, <laughs> but the root is still in the ground. Yes. I, I'm not sure where you go from there. I, I know. I know. And that's really, I, that, that is exactly where all of us now with young kids are at because it, 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 all of us who know how wrong this is, all of us know how wrong it is to divide kids against each other by color of their skin. We know how wrong it is to teach kindergartners to ask them, oh, what gender do you identify with? We know all of this is wrong. And so those of us that have the will and the guts to say, to stand up and fight and, 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 and at least try and do something for the sake of doing what's right. I mean, it's not easy. This has not been a fun, happy, joyful ride for any of us the past year, you know that, but those of us who believe that we have to stand up against it, it's like, we're fighting and we're fighting and we're fighting, but uh, yeah, the root is still in the ground. And so at some point you have to say, what, what is the, what is the, tactical action that's actually going to make a difference. And um, yeah, for me, it was, it was re re removing my kids from the front lines, as we said. So yeah.